Hey everybody, welcome back to On The Grid and today we are in Race Room. A new update just came out uh, earlier today and I just want to run you through a lot of the big changes. As you can see here, the big one is the 2020 car pack, the World Touring Car uh, Pack. So pretty cool to see that come out. I know it's been quite anticipated. There's a specifically one car that everybody's been looking after, but just before we get into this touring car pack and take these cars out for a spin, uh, there is, you know, a hefty change log, uh, not massive, but, you know, decent enough where they've kind of ran through quite a few cars and made some tweaks and updates to them. Pretty much all the DTMs, uh, some of the Formula cars, the Formula 90s, the Formula X17, a lot of the GT cars like the GT1 car class, they added uh, the engine maps to them. Uh, GT2 cars there was some balancing uh, on the cars as well so there was quite a few things and a lot of the Porsches the 911 GT3R has been updated the 911 R SR and the 934 SR so a lot of updates as far as cars are concerned but as well uh, the track so everything from Aragon to Bathurst uh, Daytona Imola there's quite a few tracks that have had a lot of tweaks um, kind of specific to AI, but still, nonetheless, there has been quite a few updates here and there as far as, um, as far as the game is concerned. But what we do want to focus on today is this new, uh, 2020 world touring car pack. Um, the Renault Megane, I'm really excited to take that one out. And I have to tell you, I have to be honest, when I first got race room and I saw the touring cars there, I took them out for a bit and I just did not like them at all. It was I, the front drive, front wheel drives and the way they handled, they just kind of drove me crazy. And I just did not like it at all. And after with a few friends of mine, they were saying, let's do some races. We let's do some of these touring car races. They're pretty fun. You know, once you get, uh, once you get the hang of them and understand how to handle the cars. Uh, so I came coming back over and over. And I guess, you know, when the 2019 pack came out, I really, with the Lynx and Co and the Volkswagen, I really kind of took a liking to those and it just grew on me and I absolutely really enjoyed running these cars. So I'm actually quite you know happy to see this 2020 car pack out and I want to get out and take that Renault Megane. So what we'll do is let's just run through what you get here. In this 2020 car pack, you can see the Volkswagen is not here. That's been replaced by the Renault Megane. So you have the Honda Civic, you have the Renault Megane RS TCR, the Cupra Lyon Competition, uh, Hyundai 130, the Lynx & Co, which I think is pretty much a, a fan favorite in, in the circuit of touring cars. A lot of people really like that car. The Alfa Romeo Giulietta, Giulietta, Giulietta. I have to say that like multiple times. It's actually really nice to say that. Anyway, the Audi RS3 as well. So you get seven cars in this pack and quite a few liveries. So what we'll do, let's go back out. Let's go into the single player here. Let's go into single event and we'll just take a look at these cars. So this is the 2019. Let's get to the 2020. So here they are. Let's look at what you get as far as liveries. So this is the Alfa Romeo. You get two liveries. Actually, these liveries are pretty cool. I'm really liking that. In the Audi RS3 LMS, you get four liveries. That same DHL. Tom Coronel is there. And the Cupra Lyon Competition. Oh, these are pretty sharp. Actually, that color scheme is really nice. Those green, white and green, and the green and white. Pretty cool. I actually like those. And the Honda Civic TCR. Okay, the All Link, All Inkle. Those were, they had those in the 2019 pack. The Hyundai 130. Okay, so there's a few more here. Let's see. Luck Oil. Liquid Molly. Okay. Those are pretty cool. I like this uh, blue and green. Here, number 28, Jose Sapag. Jose Sapag. Sapag. I'm masquering the names today. Sorry, guys. It's still early. I'm trying to get my, my verbiage correct. So Lynx & Co. It was all blue. No mistaking this car. So that's, I actually like that. That's pretty cool as well. And last but not least, okay, all black. Let's just make a statement. We're all black and they have a number 33 car. So of course I'm going to take that one because I love the number 33. That's my favorite number. All right, so let's get out and take some of these cars. Let's start out with the Alfa Romeo. We'll take the numbers, not for any other reason. Let's take the number 16. I just don't like number 25. It just doesn't seem cool. And let's take this to one of the touring car tracks, uh, Slovakia ring. Let's take it on this and uh, see how that goes. All right, Slovakia ring, here we go. 
Let's run this. We got all the 2020 cars on the grid. I'm going to run the alpha. I'll change a few different viewpoints so we can see it. Obviously, we'll try not to run the out of car view, but I'll run in car and then bonded view just to kind of get a few uh, different variations on the sound. And uh, then we'll run the Renault in a practice session. All right, let's go. Viewpoint's good. Let me back it up a little bit, a little bit low in the car. That Renault looks great though. Maybe I should have taken that. And I can't remember what I have the AI on, but we'll uh, we'll go with this for now. Tires are still quite cold. Oh, he's trying to overtake me already? Give me a break, man. First time in the car. like this track I know they go to like Nürburgring and Ningbo maybe I'll take the Renault out in Ningbo that's actually a good track too we'll see Morocco would be great I wish we'd get Morocco in race room just complete the uh, full circuit I'll do it on the straightaway outside the car, but I'm not driving this into the corner like this. Oh, they sound great. Okay, get back in car. You really got to push these to get those tires to get up to temp. I like this corner a lot. I mean, GT cars on this corner are great. Just flat out through here and try and hold it as long as you can. And this hill is tricky because you never know what the best time to get on the brakes are. But I need to pump up the force feedback on this car specifically. A bit light, but it's nice. I'm feeling a lot of the a lot of the slip through the, the tire. You get that like little ripple effect like the tires are slipping out. I really like that. Not sure if that was something that's added or maybe I just wasn't paying attention to it in previous cars, but it seems to be standing out a bit more. As I said, you know, I really didn't like touring cars at the beginning just because the handling is very different on it and I had a hard time getting my head around it, but I really like them now. I've had some fun races with some friends on these cars. the break. I just cooked my tires. I don't know. I was too busy looking at him in my rear, rear view mirror. And I forgot the brake. That's not smart. I'm sure a lot of the touring car fans will be really happy to see this added. All right, so let's jump into here. And we'll uh, get that Renault ticket on Ningbo. Alrighty, here we are. 
in the Renault. So let's get this thing started up. Take a look on the outside of the car. Oh, it's got that nice low growl to it. Here, I'll give you a little flash. Okay, so let's get out on track. And Ningbo, if you haven't been on it before, it's... I find it very technical. Uh, you know, it's got some really sharp 90 degree corners like these first two here, turn one, turn two. And then back out to onto a nice long straight. It's going to take about a lap or so to get this car up to temperature. Then a nice sharp left-hander here, which, you know, I try to take it. This kind of reminds me of um, Sepang, where you take that... Uh, I can't remember which turn it is, but it's like two 90 degree turns. But this, it's a great track. I just, it's really made for, you know, these cars work really great on it. Totally off the line there, but. You need two left, right, lefts. Back out onto the straight. I mean, it definitely gives you your car a workout. Give you a workout too. All right, so that was just a quick look at the new WTCR 2020 pack that just came out to, with Race Room alongside an update with uh, some various tweaks to tracks, AI, and some cars. So uh, I think you know it's a really solid pack. Uh, like I said, it would be really nice if they added a few more of the tracks that were on the official circuit, like the Morocco circuit, uh, maybe you know the South Korean circuit. Macau we have, Malaysia we have. So I think they're missing maybe one or two tracks. I think if we can add that on, it'd be really great because then you put official leagues together for the uh, the WTCR pack. So I think it's a really solid pack all around. This Renault Megane RS is a really great one. I didn't get a chance to take out the Lincoln Co, but you know I think between you know these two, uh, the Lynx and Co and the Renault Megane, probably my favorite ones. I would love to take out that Cooper Leone. I'll probably go out and do that now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that look at the, the new pack. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you guys again soon. Take care.